Is this polish on your nail? Like that um, mirror polish? Is it email? Is she good? You're live, good. We're live, guys. So, I'm just going to preface this whole live with, I did a treatment on my face yesterday. Um, it's called the Z-Bright, and that's why it looks a little crazy. Happy just Halloween. in time for <laughs> Halloween. But today we have our amazing model, Jody, right here. Hey. And we are doing Hi, Jody. microneedling with PRP, which you've had this treatment before, right, Jody? I have. One other time with the PRP. And what did you think about it? My skin healed. It only, it only took maybe two days versus five when I've done the standard microneedling. Huge difference Huge to have difference. that plasma, your own plasma, because I think this is my own take on it, but it heals you. For sure. It's, it's your body like liquid gold, people it. call it. Like it's yeah. incredible. And it can do other cool things like grow your hair back, right? But when you put mm -hmm. it on your face, you know, and it's gonna go sink all the way into my pores and just help my skin to produce more collagen and what else? Tell me what else is going to do for me. I love that you've had regular microneedling before and PRP, so you know exactly how to compare it. And I always tell patients, I never want to take away from my regular microneedling because it's still a wonderful treatment in and of itself. However, PRP is just a glorified treatment. Your body recognizes it as your own um, plasma, your own growth risk factor, so it helps in um, a faster cell turnover rate. Helps in faster healing time and just gives you a little bit more oomph, a better glow. Um, and obviously, you love the treatments as you're back for more. Exactly, I'm back. My whole face is numb, by the way, and my lips, <laughs> which I know you guys can't tell, but how long do we have the numbing cream on for? We had the numbing cream on for about 35 minutes. Um, yeah, a yeah. minute. Yeah, you definitely want to have numbing cream for this procedure. One time I'm I zoom in on the liquid gold here. Cream, and it was not a fun time. It's doable, but we would never do that for a patient. So she, um, Jody came in, she was very hydrated. We had a nice successful blood draw. Kim, our nurse came in and we had a nice little party in here and you were nice and at <laughs> ease, right? Oh yeah, I don't mind getting my blood drawn at all. For me, it's no big deal. It's almost like a fun game. Like, did I drink enough water? Is it gonna be good this time? Am I gonna have to get poked a whole bunch of times? Tough cookie. Kim, Kim was awesome. Yeah, she was great. A big myth with PRP is actually that we're dropping blood on your face. I was face. just going to ask you that. Right, right. Kim Kardashian made it super famous. That video went viral. Um, it's not the case at all. As you can see, liquid gold. We separated the platelets from your blood. So it is your plasma. And that is what we're actually using so as the So this vibe. right here is the plasma. Absolutely. That we extract from your blood and spin. Yep. So that is from your actual red blood. That's got all the good stuff in it. So. And Shaleen, I, have, <laughs> I happen to have a close-up on you right now, so you might want to say <laughs> yes. what you had done yeah. since okay. everyone's probably Thank wondering. You. So for all of those who are wondering why my face looks like this, it's not just for Halloween. Um, we did a Z-Bright. So Dr. Zuliani actually gave me a special treat yesterday with this laser treatment. We did a BBL, which stands for broadband light targeting um, pigment in the skin. And then we did a resurfacing treatment right at, on top called the Arctic Peel. Um, so I'm a little bit swollen, but I'm not really, I'm a little uncomfortable, but I can go throughout my normal day. I came into work this morning. Slept a little elevated last night. I've got all my great Elastin um, post-procedure skincare on top, and hopefully we'll be healed in no time. That's Elastin. It just looks a little. Fun. So it was a deep, deep laser resurfacing treatment. Um, she did not do microneedling. So. Not microneedling. <laughs> you will not look like this after. Right. I you will not look like this, Jody. <laughs> go ahead and lay back, Jody. Hi, Jody. Thank you for joining Hi. us. Hi. Thank you guys. This is this exciting. Oh, it's such a pleasure. We appreciate you. Can you keep me slightly you. elevated just so I'm not like all the way? Yes. Okay. Is that cozy? Yeah. Okay. So if I lay on the back too much, no, you tell me like, if it's so, like okay. too much or anything. Cool. And do you need your phone by No, I'm okay. Okay. Because I'm not getting up no matter what anyway. Right? Gotcha. <laughs> I mean, you can look at it if you need that too, though. It's all good. All right, so we like to start on the forehead just because it's actually the plumiest, so I like to get the hard part over with. Yep. And we are just going to drizzle a little bit of that liquid gold right on top. And start at a point 0.5. Forehead is 
very, very thin skin. So we don't like to go too heavy on the forehead. How does that feel, Jody? Totally fine. Just like, it kind of feels, I try to describe it to patients as cat scratches or maybe um, a tattoo, if they've ever experienced what that feels well, like. I have cats and... <laughs> no, cats, not so much. Yeah, I would think Maybe a very aggressive cat yeah. scratch. Okay, like see the spot where she is right now, like yeah. on that bone in the forehead? Uh, up a little higher. Yeah, right here. Yes, yeah, so that's the most, to me, that's the most sensitive spot on the whole face. Because there's really not much skin there, so I could kind of feel it right over there, but like now where you're at, nothing. It almost feels like nothing until you get way near the hairline. And then it, it feels like someone's just scratching across my head with their nail, right? Like a little bit of a yeah. rough. Yeah. But I mean, by no means is it. Oh, very not, tolerable, yeah, right? It's very tolerable. That's a good way to put it. It's not like getting a massage, but it's not <laughs> anything like, <laughs> but that, like that. That deep, section deep right there, there. yeah, was a, I feel, feel it. Yep. But it's usually just for a second and just enough time where you say, oh, that stings kind of a little bit, and oh, now she's gone. Right, and then you're done. So it's, yeah. So, like, is it bleeding? I don't even know. Nope. No? Okay. Sometimes you can get a little bit of pinpoint bleeding, even with regular microneedling. That's right. totally normal. Oh, yeah. Um, and then once you put the plasma on top, you know, the plasma is a liquid consistency. So then you're kind of spreading the blood around, and that's why some people think that this is a very, very gory treatment. When it's not. Yeah, th I think that is the impression that you're rubbing blood on my face. Yep. <laughs> so it's a lot more visually pleasing than most people think. And many times, if there's a lot of blood there, it's actually improper technique. Very oh, true. Really? Too. Mm -hmm. Like if I were going too um, high on your forehead, there's no reason for me to be at the same setting as I would treat your cheeks as your forehead because your forehead has way thinner skin than your cheeks do. And there's no reason to treat, you know, this thin skin at the same depth as we would treat um, a superficial acne scar or like a, a deep line that we're trying to improve upon. Right. Good point, Laura. Thank you. <laughs> so you're saying my technique is good? Your technique is wonderful. Oh, I appreciate that so much. <laughs> so in essence, what we're doing is we are creating these tiny little micro channels in the skin infusing that PRP deep down so that as your skin naturally exfoliates, that healthy treated skin is gonna come up to the surface and give her a nice glow. Right, and one of the things that I'm excited about is that you can do under my eyes, right? Yes, we can, that's actually one of my because favorite spots. Too. I have trouble, like I have been getting Botox for negative, negative. 14 years <laughs> because I really wanted to treat in advance before I got too wrinkly and there are certain sections under my eye where they really can't treat me with Botox yep and so when I learned that microneedling could hit that area then I was all on board and I definitely can tell a difference the area is just so much smoother after the treatment I'm so tight that's one of my favorite spots to do and that's why I'm so meticulous under the eyes yeah is because I appreciate it so much when Laura does under my eyes with my microneedling over here. Because, yes, you do notice just such a tightness. It's awesome. Yeah, I want to tell. Yes, thank you. Are you comfortable? Yep. Yeah, because yeah, it really is difficult under the eye, unless you're going to do, like, a very serious CO2 laser or something to get rid of all that skin. I don't feel like I have that many options for treatment for under eye wrinkles. And because that skin is so thin, you don't really want a lot of downtime. Well, most patients don't like having it being, you know, puffy for a week or two. You no. kind of want to be able to conceal it a little bit. So that's one of the big benefits of microneedling. It's still an amazing treatment overall, um, but you can pretty much say that there's only a few days of downtime. And with that downtime, you can still cover it up. So for a treatment like I did, it's very, very difficult to put on makeup right afterwards. Oh, um, yeah. My skin is peeling. You know, I have a little bit of that serous fluid underneath. We want to keep it super slathered and moisturized so that no bacteria is getting in. And we're locking um, moisture in as well. So for me to put on makeup, it would you, you got to get through the first couple days of that intense, intense recovery time. Microneedling, complete opposite. You yeah. can cover it up very easily. Genetics, perhaps. 
with Oxygenetics. Actually, Jody came in wearing Oxygenetics today. Oh, lovely. Tell us all about it, Jody. I have been using Oxygenetics foundation for probably five years. Really? Yes. And it was because I had had a procedure and I had to go somewhere right after and I was introduced to the Oxygenetics. It's like the most natural product you can put on your face. Mm -hmm. And I don't even know what's in it, but maybe it's water-based. Is that accurate? Mm -hmm. And it, it kind of lays on your skin like a screen door so it promotes oxygen flow. Okay, and I've always had issues with acne and so I'm very, very particular about what I'm going to put on my face. And hearing that I could put something immediately post-procedure, I was fascinated. And so I've continued to use it now for all these years. Wow. And they also make one that has salicylic acid in it. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that's actually what I had on this morning when I come in. And I, so I do things on TV for my fitness career. And I have now found that it's even, I'm using it when I'm on TV. Because before I would switch to like different brands of foundation that were right. a little better on camera. I have been wearing it on camera and it looks awesome. So I don't know if they've like changed the formulation recently, but it really wears beautifully. The acne does. one's nice and mattifying. I noticed yes, that too. Yes, it is. Mm -hmm. Agreed. So that is what I use almost exclusively. And I even changed my color for the summer. I bought the really? walnut. Yeah, so just a little darker when my skin gets a little... I love it. Tan. She knows her color. I bought the walnut. Right. Typically, I'm beige. Right. You, and you know it's the exact same color in the standard as it is with the salicylic acid. The color yep. doesn't change at all. It's yep. nice because you can mix them and, and match. Right. So sometimes I'll mix two colors together. Yep. Because, yeah, but it's awesome because it's just so healthy for your skin. It is. It's, yeah. it's a nice yeah. it's a nice foundation. And a lot of people are weary of that because it, a lot of foundations cause pores. And this oh, one does yeah. not. See? Yep. Two. One. So that is what our October special was. Mm -hmm. It was microneedling, not for six hundred, but for five hundred dollars of treatment. And then ZFA is also gifting you with a complimentary oxygenetics, which is a seventy dollar value. It has microneedling with PRP. Yep. And that's yep, thank you, Laura. Mm -hmm. With PRP, not plain. So you guys just help color match people and then Absolutely. Look at that. I'm telling you it's awesome foundation. I'm so picky about my skin. <laughs> Which is why I'm here. Just little things <laughs> like right this, place. right? And okay, so I told you about my under eye wrinkles. And then another reason that I have wanted to have regular microneedling is because I have past acne scarring. And it's not like really noticeable, but it still bothers me. And I know that you can kind of get into some of those spots with the microneedling, right? Absolutely. So that's what I love about this treatment is that you cater it per patient. So if someone has, you know, fine lines that they want to target, and I always try to assess that at the beginning um, before we start just to say, you know, what are you looking to improve upon the most? But I can typically see. So yeah. if I see, you know, little acne scars, more enlarged pores, um, extra fine lines and wrinkles around the crow's feet and eyes like we were talking about before. I like to be super meticulous and really, really trace those because I know that she's going to see awesome results even after one treatment. Um, I love that we put this on special this month because it gave patients an opportunity to try the PRP at a really, really, really great um, price. But we do always recommend that this treatment is done in a series of three to four, just because you kind of get that ripple effect that builds up. So, you know, Jody's here today. We're doing the treatment in another three to four weeks or four to six, if she were to come in and do it again, now you have double the collagen stimulation and you're just gonna see double the results. But everyone is completely different and She'll see amazing results even from this one treatment. And, and she'll kind of know when her skin is ready for another one. Yeah, that's awesome. Three to four weeks. So I'll always say to patients, you know, once you do a package, let's get a good two to three under your belt. Maybe save the last one for right before an event or right before the holidays. I think it's great to do this about two weeks before you have a good event to really, really get the benefit of that glow. Yes. I know that for me. sure, like if I had to be on TV, I would want five days, roughly. And that would be, like, it does, I wouldn't say I'm down for five days, but there could be light peeling or a little redness. 
But again, typically, like tomorrow, I will put on the Oxygenetics, even though it's Halloween, maybe I won't, because that would be funnier, right? <laughs> yeah. But I won't be that red, and Giving I can easily, concert, like, concert. I could cover it tomorrow to where my husband wouldn't even know I had something done today. Yep. Yeah. Oh, ladies, did you hear that? <laughs> I, know. <laughs> I know, right? So many patients will say, I need to do this when, when my husband's out of town. Um, the less he knows what I'm doing, the better. Only because he always says he thinks I'm crazy. They don't appreciate it. They don't realize what it takes for us to continue to look beautiful all the time. I know. And they just don't get it. You know, guys look sexy with gray hair and wrinkles, and they're allowed to rock all that. I'm not comfortable. <laughs> and that's my, me personally. It doesn't mean that somebody else might not want that, but I'm not ready to be rocking wrinkles and gray hair. I'm not, mm -hmm. you know? So I want to keep myself looking young as long as possible because I already eat healthy. I exercise a lot. But, you know, when it comes to my face, that's what I'm here for. And your skin is the largest organ on your body. It protects all of your other internal organs. So we tend to forget that sometimes and forget how important it is to take care of our skin and keep it moisturized and keep it nourished. Right. How are you feeling, Jody? Uh, the nose doesn't hurt at all. And I do have some larger pores on my nose. We're so, getting them. Yeah. yeah. And that's another thing that this helps, right, is pore size. Oh, for sure. Mm -hmm. I always ask patients when they come back for their second and third treatment, what did you notice the most? What kind of improvement? Because I just, everyone's different and I, I want to hear the feedback. And I will tell you that is the number one thing that everyone says is, my pores were so much smaller. Yeah. And it's so funny because you actually can't make your pores smaller, but you can diminish the appearance of them. So we're basically concealing them to make them not so prominent. And it's great for clearing out little um, black heads, little white heads. Yeah. Like as Especially much as, zone. I mean, I clean my face morning, night, I use lots of serums and products and I still do get black heads in my nose. Like, right? And sometimes that's, that's annoying. just, yeah, and that's just genetic, but it's good to know that there's these treatments out here that you and can that do. And hydrofacial just for. sucks those bad boys right out. Oh my gosh, ah. have you ever had a hydrofacial? You know, I have had one. What'd you think? They did it super, super gentle because I was taking Accutane. Okay. Just full disclosure, I've had history of acne in my past. And uh, I have since stopped taking the Accutane, which was a hard decision because I didn't get any pimples, but it, I just think it's so harsh for your body. And so mm -hmm. to me... Um, you know, that was like a rescue thing. Again, because I was on TV, right? Yeah. And I was sick of waking up with, like, cystic pimples. But um, I've been off it now for over a month, and I haven't really broken out at all. But I'm using, actually, the green tea serum from Dr. Giuliani. Woo and I think that's amazing. Helping. I've been oh, using yeah. that for a month. It's my favorite yeah, product. Yeah, it is good stuff. Yep. I put it on twice a day. And it's supposed to decrease uh, inflammation in your skin as well as oil production. Yep. It's an amazing, so, amazing antioxidant. Go ahead and try yeah, and it's it. really light. I like how it feels. But, I mean, you guys have so many other products that, you know, I haven't tried. There's other things out there. It's so we, funny, Jody, because I always tell people, sorry, Shaleen, okay, yeah. that's like for me personally because I also have oily, acneic skin. Yeah. Um, that's my go-to. Like, that's my gold standard. I have to use that. I love, 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 love it. Yeah, and you find you don't break out with it? When I use it regularly, absolutely. Yeah, that's the one, like, if I could pick one favorite, that would be it. Uh, and, I, and our products are amazing, so I use them yeah. all, but that's my very favorite. What is it, the antioxidant serum, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, I'd call it a green tea serum. Well, it has green tea in it, so yeah, you got so. it. That's why it's nice and calming for the skin. We love our Juliana line. Love, 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 love it. So did Zach Giuliani create all the formulations? Or yep, Pan picked exactly what we wanted to carry here. And you helped him with that? We all did. We all did. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Everyone's been in the industry for a really long time, so it's so nice that we're all on the same page and that we get to make those kinds of suggestions and such because we hear firsthand what our patients are looking for. Right. Now, the best thing to put on after microneedling is our post-procedure line, which is Elastin Skin Care. And once again, I will show you that. Yes. It's amazing. And we actually just had our awesome rep come in today. Um, we have the Skin Nectar, which is a great treatment 
to prep the skin with because it has that trihex therapy in it. It is the most soothing serum ever to put on your skin post procedure. That's the first thing that I put on yesterday actually after my procedure. And it was the only thing that hasn't stung, including water, because the skin is just so sensitive. Water even stings. But the nectar actually has a high concentrated amount of arnica in it. So it really, really improves that healing time. Our patients are love, love, loving the nectar. Um, we also have the Soothe and Recovery Balm, and I'm going to put all of this on, on you after too, Jody. Yay! So you'll be able to experience it yourself. And the Soothe and Recovery Balm does exactly what it's called. It soothes the skin and it helps aid in the recovery process by locking in the nectar. I know Arnica is good for bruising too. For sure. For sure, yeah. Because I remember, like, trying to find Arnica oil in the health food store. This is, like, years back, and I couldn't find any. I'm thinking, why don't they make Arnica to put on your face? Because everybody, not everybody, but I knew that it was good for bruising. Like and supplement, yeah. Mm -hmm. How are you feeling? Good. Could you tell I increased it on your cheeks a little? I could only feel it when you would hit, like, my cheekbone. But, like, where you are now, like up here. doesn't hurt. Yep. Just, it, and it's not that it hurts, but it definitely, you can tell you're there when you get over the bones. That's just how microneedling is. Yeah. And she's just a nice little pink color. And I always recommend patients to wait until tonight to wash your face with um, an, a good gentle cleanser that we can suggest for you here from our Zuliani line. Because you don't want to just use any gentle cleanser or anything for that matter, right? Well, right. the cleanser that I have, I think has um, glycolic acid. Oh, yeah, you don't want to do that. definitely want to stay away okay. from. Yeah, that would be bad. I always tell patients, think of it this way. You're, we're putting your skin in a very, very fragile state. So we want to baby it. We want to treat it like it's tender baby skin because that's exactly what it's going to look like after it heals. Sometimes patients will question um, if they can get any peeling, like a chemical peel. Not necessarily peeling, but you could get little dry skin patches, um, especially if we were focusing on a specific area. Most patients will say they get a little perioral peeling. And mm -hmm. that's just because, I like to do a couple extra passes around the mouth. You'll have to let me know, but I swear last time I did this, it pumped up my lips. Oh, oh we have a guest appearance here. We have a special guest. Hey. Gentlemen, go ahead. Hi, Hi Dr. Dr. Z. Z. Hi. What do you think about this? <laughs> it's close up. I'm getting some little fine lines around my lips, too, that I hate. Definitely targets, though. See, that's why I like to spend a little extra time right there. Too. And they're nice and numb. So that's good. Yeah, the chin doesn't hurt at all. You're at a high, you're at the highest too. Really? Yeah. What level? Yeah, it's not uncomfortable Two. at all. So anywhere where I can see that you have like a little acne scar, mm -hmm. we just hold it there for an extra little second. What do you think of my face? <laughs> she loves oh, Halloween. Yeah. She well, loves I'm excited to find out what your Halloween. costume's gonna be tomorrow. Oh, okay. <laughs> I've been following the surprise. It's gonna be a surprise based on votes, like, right? Yep. Did you vote? Yes. Oh my gosh. <laughs> For the pink bunny. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever the funniest, yeah. Well, Shalene, I got it. You can be two faced. Oh, oh but good one. it was the thing for Bammy. Oh, can't. but I don't have a good one. I don't have a good side of my face. <laughs> it's just all bad. Well, because it's your face. Tomorrow, <laughs> actually. <laughs> I don't think you need one. I think that's a great. I'm a um, laser procedure patient. Or a scarecrow. <laughs> and that's that's what you are. It's actually good for people to see that you can do a treatment like this and still function. I mean, it's not the prettiest to look at. Let me tell you, I do get extra stares when I go to the grocery store. When I've done this <laughs> previous time, it's a great conversation starter. Um, but I'm not in any pain. So I do understand why a lot of people probably wouldn't want to go out in public if they 
didn't really want that extra attention. But it's not a bad idea. But I'm not impaired from going about everyday business. You should be, you should be like a um, lifeguard, and then we can promote sunscreen <laughs> use. <laughs> That's a good oh, one. That was a yeah. speaker scene going super close. Almost done with this part, so good job. Perfect. We're going to save her upper lip for last. Oh, great. Just because that one can be a little tender sometimes. But, I mean, you have a beautiful color right now, Jody. It's nice and even. Good. It's exactly what I'm looking for. So, Shaleen, let me ask you, why would most people, or some people, I shouldn't say most, but okay. um, bleed more than others? Correct. Some patients are a little bit more vascular than others, um, especially if we're going a little bit higher. But honestly, most patients just get the same amount of redness. It's pinpoint bleeding. Yeah, it's kind it's, of what you're seeing here. It's really, really minute. Like even as you can see right here, that little blood, as soon as we take um, a gauze to it afterwards and, and rub some of this plasma off, you won't see that anymore. Mm -hmm. So pinpoint bleeding is really, really light. Question about like, I stopped using my retinol a couple days ago knowing I was coming in here. Perfect. Is that recommended that people stop some aggressive products prior to having? Yes, we okay. like to say a good 10 days before oh. and then we don't Oops. want you to use any retinol <laughs> after. <laughs> That's what I meant. It's, ten a, days. it's okay if it was five days. Okay. I mean, 10 yeah. is ideal, but of course uh, five okay. Five. And I think, can't that contribute to more bleeding? Um, skin it is? will make your skin a little bit more sensitive, absolutely. And can cause you to peel more even, too. Mm. And then, of course, since your skin's in that fragile state, and we always just say, you know, gentle creams, gentle moisturizers, sunscreen if you're going to be outside. Yeah. Of course, retinol would fall under one of those we don't want you to use post-procedure. No. But you can start your um, normal skincare regimen after about 10 days to two weeks. 10 to 14 days. Mm -hmm. And you'll be able to tell when your skin is back to normal, too. Is it feeling tight already, Jody? Yeah, I am feeling a little bit. Uh huh. Although my face is still numb, especially my lips. Did you lick any of that numbing cream? I, I always I do licked that. it like a popsicle. <laughs> <laughs> I always do that, and then my tongue gets I know you try not to, numb. and then it gets on your tongue. No, I didn't get it on my tongue, luckily. So, is it still turned up all the way? Mm -hmm. Okay, because, yeah, just, it's definitely true. The I'm going to go around the here. But that, the cheeks aren't bad at all. The upper lip isn't really that fun either. That's why we say that the last. Yeah, so you're a tough cookie. Then, is it the numbing cream worn off for? No, the numbing oh, cream, you'll yeah. stay numb for a good oh. 45 minutes. So oh. you'll definitely stay numb for the duration of the treatment. Yeah, that's a good thing. I told you I did this without numbing cream one time, right? That's crazy. Crazy. It wasn't that fun. For yourself? No, Laura did it. I did it oh, for her. She said, why? we were about to do a video. I forgot to put it on. And, and she, she said, said just, let's just do it. She was like, Shalene, you didn't do the numbing cream. Why is it that the estheticians do crazy things like that? <laughs> I know. Truly, they always do. They're like, well, I tried it on level eight. It's pretty bad. Or, I'm so or with a, um, like if you do a peel, oh, you're yes. supposed to do three passes, and then they're like, oh, but I did six. Yes. That's how they do, because we're pretty pushing pigs. the limits. Yeah. yeah. We want to see what it can do. Yep. Because we're, uh, well, kind of hopefully fun. we're very passionate about what we do, and so it's just intriguing. Right. She so was a, was she was it? a trooper. Without the numbing cream. I mean, it wasn't a walk in the park, but it was doable. If I was ever in a bind again like that, I could do it. I'd rather do it without numbing cream than not do it at all. Let's put it that way. Okay. I would endure the the extra discomfort for the amazing results. Wow. So how long would you say from beginning to end, Shalene, when a patient arrives to when they leave their here? Oh, very good question. So you will arrive dry your blood, put the numbing cream on. It takes just about the right amount of time to dry your blood as the numbing cream takes to set in. So typically for a PRP with microneedling, patients are here for about an hour and a half. Okay, thank you. In and out the door. We try to be very, very efficient. 
We have Julie tuning in from work. <laughs> Hi, Julie. Hi, Don't Julie. get in trouble. <laughs> Sounds probably off. Not too bad, Jody. No. I think um, when I did Shaleen's without the numbing, the mouth was definitely the most sensitive for her. And right. your forehead. Yeah, but then I loved it because it pumped my lips up a little bit. So mm -hmm. I was like, keep going, look, keep going. It's awesome. I can handle it. I love the result. It tickled my nose. Yes. You didn't even have to sneeze, Jody. You know what? I felt like it was good for a second there. That's funny because it is ticklish. Yes. Yeah, that's funny. I try, if I put a little pressure on the bridge of the nose, sometimes that helps a little bit. But then I do have those patients that are like, oh, hold on, break, break, sneeze. Yep. So I really like to trace these perioral lines right here, too. Mm -hmm. so you have to remember, us as women, what bothers us the most? Pore size, wrinkle size, little crow's feet, lines right here. So keeping that in mind, those are the areas that I really like to focus on because patients see such amazing results from this. And it's good because there's something for everyone. So if you don't necessarily want to go down the injectables route, there's lasers. If you're a little leery of lasers right now, there's injectables. And we'll find a treatment path that works specifically just for you. Or if you love it all, and you do it all. I was going to say, or combo. <laughs> <laughs> combo treatments are actually some of my favorite treatments. Um, a lot of patients will come in for BBL, for uh, sun damage, pigment. They're very, very uh, vascular. And you can actually do microneedling right after a BBL. So sometimes patients say, you know what, I have the downtime right now. Let's just do the best treatment that we can today. And I say, okay. We're just using the remainder PRP. Oh, soak in every little spot. Perfect. Sorry. Sorry. Awesome. I, I, did, I, I flipped it on me. Oh, people like to see you. Do you guys like when I do that video. stuff? That's funny. Sorry. <laughs> it's Danielle's birthday tomorrow. Oh, Happy boy. birthday. <laughs> Thank you. Everyone in here is gorgeous, I by the way. Aww. Oh, stop it. You have it. to have won a pageant somewhere to work here. Oh, my <laughs> gosh. I think that's part of the interview process. Maybe. I won a pageant with this face. Yeah, with, <laughs> with that face. Aww. Aww. So can funny. handle aggressive laser treatment. <laughs> right. That is actually a talent. And go out in public. I mean, Nikki said happy birthday, Danielle. Thank you. I'll be flying in on my broom tomorrow. <laughs> oh, for Halloween. I yes. sure will. Are you dressing up for Halloween tomorrow? I always dress up to pass out candy. Where are you going to be? Yes. Uh, You're going to an IV? <gasps> Cause I was, nice. yeah, I already did that for a party, so I have the whole costume. Nice. Big red wig and the green outfit, yeah. I love Halloween. Me too. I love dressing up. Like, people say they don't like to dress up, it makes me sad. Cause you can't get crazy like that. Many Any other, other day. Yeah, right, it's so much fun. Right? My son told me last year that um, you're not allowed, parents weren't allowed to dress up for the party at school. And I was like, oh, uh uh, I came as Wonder Woman. You're like, yeah, oh, that's what I was going to say. Like, now. You tell mom not to dress up because now I'm coming in costume. And at first he was embarrassed when his teachers were so excited that I was Wonder Woman. You know, I was the only parent dressed up. <laughs> You have Why to not? celebrate. Life's too short, stuff, please. Exactly. You're like, and oh, now I'm going school. to embarrass you. Right. And now, you know, he, now he's in middle school, so there's no parties. Parents don't get to come in. It's very sad. Aw. Yeah. All right, go ahead and look up for a second, Jenny. Just going to clean up some of this makeup right here. Yeah, I left all my eye makeup on, and she was still able to rock it. Oh, yeah. It's good. Gotta let you How do you feel? You're looking perfect. Yeah. Scale from one to ten. How do you feel? As far as like pain? How do you feel? No pain at all. Zero. My face feels tight. But a good also, tight, like though. my lips are still numb from the numbing cream. Oh yeah, it's a good tight. I'm not uncomfortable. No pain though. That's probably because of the, the PRP. 
right? Yeah, and I mean, I think microneedling sometimes just gets a bad rap, and it's actually such an easy treatment to do. I think it's scary when people think about it and they don't know. Yeah, they're just thinking are. needles and blood. Yes, exactly, yeah. like needles in your face. No, but. To me, I just heard a buzzing noise and felt you moving around my face. And I mean, you were literally at ease talking the whole entire time. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. It, it really. Yeah, this isn't something you should feel scared to do and at all. And the ad said genetics one more time. Right. If you don't mind going over it, Jody. Yeah, but the other thing is, I can't see what my face looks like. So if I look scary, I don't know that. I don't even know I'm red. I just know I felt there or lay there and all I felt was a little you know, buzzing and movement. So maybe if you're looking at me, you think, ew, her face might be really pink. Or, I don't know. Is it pink? It's but just a little, it looks okay. like an like, intense sunburn, but it's going to calm down in a couple hours. Yeah. So it's, it's really not, it's really it's not like, that bad. I think you'll be pleasantly surprised. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. So it's pink. Yeah. Great. We're just rubbing in the extra right. plasma so right now. I don't think tonight I'll need to put on makeup, but tomorrow I will use the Oxygenetics Foundation. I'm the color beige and I like to rub it in with my fingers and then I use a little sponge to even it out. But the one I have has salicylic acid for acne. I will not put that on tomorrow. I was going to say use a little bit too hard, so I'll just use the regular formulation. But it's my favorite, hands down, favorite foundation. And you can't get it anywhere, by the way. Um, you have to get it either from like a spa or a doctor's office or something. Yep. So we carry it here. Here, here. yeah. And, doctor, and they have all the colors. So even if you have no idea, you can color match, which you'll need to do. You'll want to color match and find the color that matches your face. And for me, my color changes in the summer because I get a little tan, so then I go walnut, right? And now I'm back to beige. <laughs> so cute. <laughs> I know, and sometimes like, oh, it's fall. I better mix walnut and beige together because I'm not all the way pale for winter. <laughs> You. But yeah, I don't walk around without makeup on. Did you notice? Mm -hmm. I kind of like to wear makeup. And so tomorrow I will definitely put on some foundation and have some makeup on. And you won't be able to. Like even right now, if I put on the Oxygenetics, you wouldn't know that I was red underneath. It no, it's amazing. Yeah, it's full coverage. Mm -hmm. So keep in but mind breathable. that that is the only um, special that we're offering with microneedling for October is you get the complimentary Oxygenetics. And it is... For seventy dollars. Yep, for seventy dollars. One more day only for the special. And now we're gonna put our awesome, awesome, awesome elastin skin nectar with the Trihex technology. And if you could describe this feeling in one word, Jody, what would you say? Soothing. Oh, that's good. Mm -hmm. I always say it feels like butter. Butter. <laughs> it does. Oh, it's butter. just butter. so yes. calming. It is gonna feel awesome over the next few hours. My favorite thing is the Elastin Duo Kit right there because they both have the Trihex technology. Um, you're gonna prep your skin with the Skin Nectar and then after that entire bottle is gone, you're gonna use the um, Restorative Skin Complex. If anyone knows our nurse Kim, you have seen her skin lately. She, um, she prepped her skin with the Elastin skincare products. Um, before Halo and now she's using the uh, restorative skin complex technology after and everyone comes in and just says what are you using what are you using so she's glowing it. yeah and Halo is a laser yep okay Halo is a dual wavelength resurfacing laser mm. and then this is the soothe and recovery balm so this is basically going to protect all outside um, factors from any bacteria that could get into her pores, but it's also locking in that skin nectar that we just put on too. Awesome. And it helps to really, really lock in that moisture so it feels nice and soothing. Gonna sit you up oh, so we'll get the final. Feels good, doesn't it? Yes. The good thing about the nectar and the soothing recovery balm too is you can layer it. You can use as much as you <laughs> So cute. I do use a little like turbini for my hair when I get out of my shower. <laughs> nice. <laughs> so stay tuned for some great progression pics and yes. videos over the next week of how Jody's final result is gonna look. And if you have any questions, <laughs> definitely give us a call. <laughs> I, still think, I, I know think next time we'll next time she'll be less red. Yes. And actually stay tuned for next month because we are gonna do some um, awesome lives. Possibly with some of this, maybe some BBO, and talk a little bit more in depth about um, laser and resurfacing treatments. So thank, tune in you. Next month. thank you. Thank you, and nice. continue to ask any questions because Shalene and I will be checking this thread. So yep, please ask absolutely. away. Bye, guys.